This is a challenge that I've noticed a lot of people have. Is either you're adding too much water or you're adding too little water. Welcome back to Cultured Bay TV. It's your girl Shen. Hope you guys are staying safe with your guys, with your fam. Uh, today I wanted to bring you something a little bit different from what I've been doing. I will be showing you guys how to cook rice today without a rice cooker. So you're going to be learning how to cook rice on the stove top. Alright? This is a challenge that I've noticed a lot of people have. Is either you're adding too much water or you're adding too little water. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do to get your nice, your rice nice and shelly and fluffy. All right, so before I go any further, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell beside it so you can also get all the notifications when I post my videos. And don't forget to share with your grandma, auntie, uncle, sister, brother. Whoever, share it with them, let them know. All right, so let's go into how to make this matty rice. Just a cup of rice today. So all you need is a cup of rice, two cups of water, some salt, maybe a little butter or oil, 15 minutes and you're done. All right, so let's get into it. All right guys, so you wanna make sure you always wash your rice. Always wash your rice about two or three times. All right, see the water is cloudy. What you wanna do is make sure you wash it until the water is pretty much clear. You could use a strainer. But I'm just gonna do, this is what I would do every day. So, I'm just gonna show you like it is. It's not as hard. All right, so as you see, it's a little less cloudy than before. And that is getting rid of the extra starch in it. I've got the rice, it's long. This rice has so much flavor, oh my God. I'm not a rice person, I'm a quinoa type of person. I use, I usually substitute with quinoa. But when you eat some curry chicken or curry goat, you want to really rice and really rice. All right. All right, so it's a little bit clearer now. all right so i have a trick for you guys one of the way to make sure to know if you have the right amount of water use your finger and the water should be at least this above the rice itself if you keep it about an inch above the rice you know you're good so always this is the second way to test it even if you don't have a cup or you don't know what a cup is use your finger check the level of the water above the level of the rice see and if it's like that then you're good to go that's it all right so now i'm going to add the salt all right, so i'm putting about this much sea salt this is like a coarse sea salt Mix it in. I already have the stove on. Sorry. I have it on. Like I said, you can add a little butter. When I don't have butter, I use oil. So, as you can see, the amount of butter I'm using. All right. All right, and then you cover. Once it goes to a boil, you want to lower it. 
so it could steam. And you want to keep the lid covered at all times so it could steam. later look at that I didn't do anything else other than when it started boiling I lower the temperature to about midway to five and I left it at that 15 minutes later look at this look at that do you think you really need a rice cooker look at that look at that 